Ah, loud. Calm down. With your beeping. I think I played a game recently that opened with that kind of intro too. People like that game. Would you like to enable swearing? Yes. Tech support. Error unknown. Raspberry. This is. Hmm. I don't know. I just think of the XCOM title immediately, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's create a new profile. Bloop. So many feet. <laughs> uh, slightly odd. Uh, what is that? Yeah. There's a few options here. Yeah, I'll be Mr. Sun. Why not? It's the same. I just clicked on the same one again, didn't I? I guess these are. There's a change button here, but you click here to start. Dudley. Always right. There we go. <laughs> Gender, sure. December 16th. Difficulty. Uh, uh oh. Here's the thing. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Like, do I need to be a real programmer or is it just puzzle logic or some other thing going on? I guess we'll find out the hard way. Confirm. D always right. Hey, standard password and username and everything. So we're gonna be playing a tech support person in this game at Quasar. Click here to check your emails first. Bloop. Outmail. Ah, everything moves around. Kamala Corwin, welcome, newest employee of Quasar. Dudley always right. On behalf of Quasar Telecommunications, I am happy to welcome you to our family. You are part of our exciting new program, which allows our technical support specialists to work directly from home. Your new Spectrum system will connect you directly with our customers through the help desk ticketing system. I think this was Andrew's job for a while. Maybe actually, actually more than once, I think. Yeah. Like, I think around the time we were doing, like, Zero Escape and stuff like that, uh, Andrew was working this kind of job. Once, uh, once you feel ready, simply respond to this email and I will remotely unlock the support desk to get you started. Because you are a private, proprietary system, we expect you to remain within the city limits of your Spectrum device for security reasons. Your OS is state-of-the-art, and you can expect to see its potential grow over time. Finally, please note that your Spectrum system remains the property of Quasar, and as such, we expect you to take care of it. To ensure quality work, we may monitor your activities, including interactions with customers, emails, and any other interactivity, any other activity we deem necessary. Welcome to the team. We know you will be a terrific addition to the Quasar family. Oh boy. So we're responsible for taking care of the Quasar thing, but also we're supposed to remain within city limits with with your Spectrum device. Oh no, they're just saying to keep the device in in the same city. Okay, I thought I had I thought I was tethered, like I had to stay near the device, and I was going to be a little concerned about that. Reply. Thank you for your warm welcome. I am ready to start providing the very best in tech support for Quasar customers. Bloop. Anyway, blah. Having announced the following, that following your multiple requests, we have finally established an official Quasar wiki containing information about how to deal with common issues. Click. Clicking on it does not open that, okay. You will find the li links to the wiki available directly in NetTraveler. Okay, let's find that. Hello. I can close that by now. Let's open the last thing too. Widgets. There we go. Just to have it there. We encourage you to dive in and refresh your memory as needed. Quasar is grateful to have you all contribute to make this task support team number one worldwide. Wallpaper world. Aw, I want to customize my wallpaper. Is this someone's D&D campaign? Yes. Is that a char? Looks like a char. Wow, that, that, that wait, that act almost looks exactly like an actual wallpaper I was using until recently. 
Hey. That, that's, that's actually stressful. That's vaguely stressful, like we're going into an abyss. Glitch. Yeah. They let you customize your background. Hello. Are these games quote called hot because they're like a reference to another game from that developer or publisher, I wonder? Because the three that say hot... Not all, well, there's more than three. Okay, that looks like Beat ha not Beat Hazard, uh, Audio Surf, but not quite. I don't know, the, the, all the ones that are supposedly hot look like they could be video game related. I wonder if these are other indie games or something. Let's do this one. I like this one. That's nice. I want to play that game. Anyway, back to actually working. What is this song? I just realized that there's a... Yeah, I just realized that the radio's just kind of going. So we can go to the wiki and learn things if we want to. Okay. Let's learn how to actually do our job now. You'll find a support uh, support desk with a file attachment to this email. Click on the file name on the top to install the software. Once you run the application, I'll be your first customer to ease you into the process as soon as you're ready. Oh no. Nothing quite like having to do with your own direct boss to prove that you can do your job. Alright, this will be fun. Alright, where's my new file? Is it in support desk? I'm gonna have so many things open on the same monitor. I, when I worked at a cubicle, I had two monitors. So, oh god, I've willingly brought myself back into being in a cubicle. It's fun. It's it's a fun pretend cubicle. Don't worry about it. Was that us oh, the maximize screen? Yeah. Boom. It does kind of make sense just to maximize a lot of this stuff. Even though not these ones though. These ones don't have much going on. Uh, waiting one. All right. Hello, my name is Dudley. What can I do for you? Hi, Dudley. I hope you're settled in and ready to solve some problems. I couldn't find any record of your previous employment. Do you need any help with the support desk system? You can answer using the yes or no options in the chat menu. Talk about yourself. So while we wait, how are, thi how are things, madam? I remember my first day at Quasar. I was so nervous, but I got through it. Quasar is a great place to move up in ranks and build a career. If you are diligent and hardworking. There we go. Gives me a bit more space. The uh, what was the actual question again? Do you need help with the support desk system? Let's wing it. I can do it. I believe in myself. I've taken up enough of your time. I see you're exploring your options, but I encourage you to do that within the Wiki Connect software, not here. For now, let's get back on the important question. Do you need any help with the, the support desk system? I said no. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> it must have been that I was in a different context of a tree, so it got all messy. Alright, I understand. It's not too difficult a system, anyways, and I'll be o looking over and providing help as needed. You should receive your first ticket in a few seconds. You can click, or you can click the new ticket button to accelerate the process. Good luck. Ticket completed. Cool, look how awesome I am. Oh god, the countdown's already started. Oh my god, he's wearing a trilby. I'm doomed. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if you can help me, but I hope so. Uh, what is the problem? I'm here to help. What can I do for you? I dropped my phone and cracked the screen. That's me, clumsy old Harold. Harold Bush. Uh, phone. Replace screen. You'll need to replace your screen then. I understand. I'll try that. Later. Glitter. All right. Oh, because the screen's broken. Maybe. I don't know. Oh god, they just keep coming. Uh... I finally broke down and called tech support. Please don't disappoint me. Uh, what's the problem? I think my touch screen isn't working properly. Uh... Have you tried rebooting it? Well, he's gonna say that he finally called in, so he's, he, of course, he tried it already. Didn't work. Let's see. Play screen, dry phone, call yourself. We could try the Net Traveler. Uh, Wiki. Uh, phone, phone mishandling? Sure, I probably should check that before. Uh, base solutions?
Where's my... There we go. Uh... Yeah, restarting the phone's the easiest thing, but, you know, we already tried that. Can you explain? Let's see. What happened? Just some natural wear and tear. Escalate the issue. We tried changing the options in the settings menu. Are you insane? That has nothing to do with any of this, you smoldering heap of feces. <laughs> Are you just presenting solutions from a list? Yes. <laughs> well, fuck you then. Just solve my problem. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. <laughs> How are things, Mr. Barraza? Not gonna lie, I'm enjoying stepping away from the kids right now. Oh my god, that actually worked. Alright, uh... Dry phone. He didn't get it wet. We could try factory reset. Nope, I'm not doing that. Let's figure something else out. Cool. Wait, are you giving me automated responses? No, of course not. Whatever, get us through the day, I guess. Okay. I mean... Uh, 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 <laughs> this is not going to be a headset. Uh, <laughs> I guess phone mishandling? Oh, they're just saying the screen's not working. It's not broken, though. I need to find something about, uh, unresponsive screen. What do my widgets do? Oh, I can change the music? Wow, what a day to be alive. Wow, look at all these things I have as my job. Dupe. I mean, this guy's not gonna be happy with me. He's just gonna be unhappy and Oh my god, go away! I didn't realize they were all gonna stay on the screen. I guess that's what a widget is, kind of. Yeah. Go away. Uh... Give me the incredibly useful description of... My touch screen isn't working properly. Alright. Let's just replace the screen. Because, I mean, he said he went to the other thing. System under that doesn't work. But he won't do a reset. Escalate issue? Yeah. He said this is beyond... This is beyond my expectations, so I gotta send you to somebody that knows more than me, I guess. It's hard to believe, in this day and age, that there are still uneducated, unpolished, unintelligent human beings like Dudling out there. <laughs> wow. Well, I got a five-star rating, so fuck you, Alfredo. You go get on a- go get yourself in a pasta. Hey, my screen's still here. Change new song for a new day. Don't forget to check your emails every day. And also open every single app at the same time. Yay. This is a smart thing to do. I just go get some nice full screens everywhere. This widget thing is kind of pointless, isn't it? Yeah, I don't need widgets. Get out of here, widgets. All you do is take up screen space. Alright. Please confirm your registration. Uh, received a notification concerning your subscription to our real estate newsletter. Sure. I would love to have a job. I like job. I mean, not well. I would like to have a house. <laughs> Congratulations on your first successful day. We'll make a brilliant specialist out of you yet. Looking at your tickets, I realized that we installed the wrong version of support desk, which didn't include the warranty options. I've taken the liberty of updating it remotely, so you should be good to go. Here is some basic information about the two types of warranties our customers can access. Extended warranties cover every issue a customer may encounter. If you are unable to troubleshoot a problem, it should always be escalated. Standard warranties only cover technical issues and not problems caused by the customer themselves. Therefore, cracked screens or wet and lost phones should never be escalated. Instead, simply reply that you cannot help them. Oh, just give up. Great. It's like, wow. What is this? It's like the opposite of, uh... 
of Papers, Please, because in Papers, Please, it's like everything is on the line. And in this game, it's like, oh no, a corporation might get a little sad. It's like the anti-stakes. I keep having problems with my phone. Hopefully you can help. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, tell me about your problem. My phone just doesn't want to work properly. All right, uh, what happened? I dropped my phone in the pool. I know, I'm such a klutz. Well, you should dry it then, dummy. You should move the battery and put it in rice overnight. It'll absorb the moisture. Tried that already, didn't work. All right. Well, then I guess you can fuck yourself. Screw you, buddy. Yep. All right. I'm good at things. All right. Hello, Beardman. Why, hello, young person. I'm Keith. I hear you help with my cellular telephone. Is that true? Yes, that is. Unless you dropped it in water, then fuck you. <laughs> Splendid. I wasn't sure if this is the right place. I swear to God, the old people. <laughs> wow, a brand new cell phone for your 70th birthday. Can I start more tickets while this is happening? New ticket. There we go. All right. Hey, how are you doing? Finally broke down and called tech support. Don't disappoint me. All right, what's the problem? Anyway. Uh, all right. Works fine. I just can't make calls with it. Uh, what happened? Uh, wow. Blah, blah, blah. Small talk. Yeah, keep telling me about yourself. I don't remember anything specific happening. Uh, you try rebooting your phone? At least the page doesn't crash. It's just like my grandmother. She wants to talk to me about a, scan a scanner or a printer or something for like 30 minutes from her office. And I just kind of was there. Uh... How about we... Try a factory reset. Ha ha ha. How are you doing? Wow, yeah, you're great. Alright, so what's the problem? I'm sure we can figure out an easier solution. That's what you think. Uh, you already tried rebooting. Uh, settings? I've forgotten the reason for my call. Alright. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there isn't a don't make call setting. Yeah, Who's bleeping at me now? Oh, look at the... Th I don't, want to, I don't need to look at the bank. That stresses me out. Uh, it's just a ticket escalation. Tell me. If it's impossible to fix, send them. Excuse says last resort, though. Last resort. Alright, uh... I'm getting quite old. Alright, well, goodbye. Uh, don't make call setting. Hi, would you like to talk about things while I try to figure out your problem, you impatient piece of shit? Uh, planning to make a lot of calls. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be nice? I'm just gonna... Uh, warranty? Yeah, okay, it's still... Uh... I don't think I have another option, so... This sounds like a problem for somebody else! How exciting. Alright. Goodbye. Oh, we, we did it. I'm a four and a half star genius, man. In the 19th century, the population would gather at circuses to laugh at freaks of nature like Dudley. <laughs> He's so mad. Wait, I only made $23 that day? Fuck this shit. I'm not gonna, like deal with social anxiety of meeting 12 strangers per hour just for the sake of like $23 a day what is this bullshit you can pause the game cool nip blip uh about the warranties congrats on your first day all right so that's irrelevant we're just gonna keep on working working and working and working cool hi how you doing Talk faster, please. Hey there. I have a problem. Isn't that nice? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should, like, 
multitask here. You have a problem. Wow. What's your problem? Anyway, new ticket. Multitasking. How exciting. I don't know. My phone just doesn't work. All right. Uh, what happened? Uh, you think that getting in touch with my own family would be easier. Oh, it's my family. Shit, I'm multitasking with my own family. Uh, just stopped working. I, I feel like everyone's gonna say that. Uh, let's just full screen these things. I wish they had names. Uh, but, 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 just stopped working. Have you rebooted it, you fuck foe? Sorry to continue to work, but you're not answering calls and you're ignoring me on social media. I don't know what to do anymore. Hi, tell me about yourself. LOL. I can do the off part, no problem. The on portion is tricky since it doesn't turn on. Oh, you didn't really say that. Okay, so it's just off completely. Uh, charge the battery, you dummy. Uh, a lot of hours taking care of the mom and kids. Trying to do odd jobs here and there to put food on the table. Wow, you idiot. Alright. Uh, I hope I can land a job soon. I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> uh... My name is Dudley. How do you do? I have a problem. Okay, yeah. Explain your problem immediately, dummy. Okay, take responsibility. Dudley, we're not uh, talking about any old issue here. This is mom we're talking about. How dare you be so ungrateful and make it someone else's problem. Take responsibility for once. Do you have a warranty on your device? <laughs> Tried to start my phone and it gave me a garbled mess. Uh, you should I reboot your phone? I didn't, I didn't buy it that long ago. It's still under warranty. Standard warranty, that is. You're my... Wait, what? <laughs> they actually respond to that. Uh, you should dry your phone. Brother. Alright, cool. Uh, what happened? I meant to ask what happened first. Whoops. Yeah, the phone came with standard warranty. Okay, what happened? You want me to merge mom into rice? What's wrong with you? Yeah, you should try... Uh... You should replace her screen. Nothing really happened, it just stopped working. They're gonna say that every single goddamn time. Alright, uh... Reboot phone. Factory reset, why not? Can you focus please? Mom's sick, we need to help her. What happened? Sounds complicated, can you- can I send it to you guys instead? Alright, uh, let's escalate that shit to somebody that can do that, then I guess- Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> you can't just invade my screen. Uh, sorry, I don't have time to introduce myself. I've been drilling. I'm Spence. I'm a tech guy. Uh, to pop into your chat room, tech god. Being a tech god has advantages. You did just invade me with your professionally shot stock photo ass photo face face. But enough about that. Are you enjoying your time at Quasar? You tried submerging it in rice. Anyway. Uh, she's been just getting terrible headaches the last few days. She even fainted once. She went to the doctor, but they didn't find anything, so they prescribed some pills. They help, but it's hardly a miracle medicine. Do you have her warranty? I already asked that, and he said yes. <laughs> I can't even joke about that. Dude, I'm at work, you fuck. <laughs> Call you. <laughs> have you tried calling yourself? I'm a tech god, I already know all the solutions, and more. Wait, you just said that for no reason. Yes, you seem like a nice person. What are you talking about? <laughs> also, alright, this, this guy's done. Let's just clear that. None of these people are actually my people I'm supposed to work on. What are you talking about? Uh, what seems to be the problem, Mr. Mr. Dot, comma. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have you tried calling yourself? Is this guy still talking? What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for your brilliant insights. <laughs> oh my fucking god, he's still talking. Uh, talking about the possibilities. A nifty website called S S Spence's Oasis. It's well connected. Brief connection. Pay a small membership fee of $100 as soon as you get the money. <laughs> Go away. Uh, I don't know why the fuck to. I, I can't talk to you like a human. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you accidentally changed an options in the menu? Yes. You seem like a nice person. 
It's not enough to just to agree. I need to focus on finding a solution. No. Look, I know you don't want me here, so let's just deal with this. I'm just gonna send you to a tier two specialist. Oh god. <laughs> I don't understand why you're bringing this up. Well, I don't understand how you don't understand that I'm picking prefab messages. How did it happen? Did anybody say this, basically? Uh, I'm gonna actually do my job. Oh, work hours are over. I just need this person to shut up. Okay. Uh, they prescribe pills. Yes. I don't... I can't help you. You know what? You can go to hell. Five star rating. <laughs> Things are going great. It's, also, I can totally click login before the actual login screen is available, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, I'm a little tired of having this on the screen. There we go. Oh no, I've changed the order in which I launched them in, messing up everything. Uh, oh, it's my brother. I finally found my account information. I need to send $150 to blah. Remember, it's urgent. Mom's in pain. We yeah, okay. Do I have the money? International Bank. Oh, cool. We'll just see all of his login information. There we go. I love, my I love the bank account of Shake Hands. $150. Oh yeah, cool. It's easy with all the money I don't have. I make a few dollars a day. Have you considered getting a job, asshole? Because I have one and it's not working. <laughs> Yay, capitalism. The dark truth behind Quasar Telecommunications. Indigo Fox. Employees of Quasar Telecommunications. This is a great secret, which must now be divulged. The company you work for has been lying to you, as well as its customers and the population at large. And what's worse, they have been using this lie to steal and blackmail their way to success. Buried deep within the very building you work in is a server room, separate from all others, where data from every phone is being recorded and stored by your employer, 24-7 GPS tracking, phone call recording, regarding reading of emails and website tracking. Of course they do, you might reply. Every communication company must keep records of calls and internet history of their users. Yet Quasar does far more than keep simple metadata. This is espionage of the people to the highest degree. Imagine a complete recording of every bit of information communicated through phones, including password to bank accounts and private medical calls. I have nothing to hide, you might say. And that may be true, but what of our democratically elected officials? Do you trust them to be honest and forthcoming when confronted with sensitive information? Last year, Quasar was awarded an exclusive telecommunication contract with the government at an estimated worth of $4.3 billion. At first, a first for our nation, and a deal with little to no oversight. Do not trust Quasar. Do not let them charm you with their words. We are Indigo and we intend to take them down one way or another. If you value your privacy, and you value your democracy, stand with us against the usurpers and let us free our nation from the corruption. All it takes is a reply to this email. Nothing more. Your nation needs you. Democracy needs you. Stand by our side, brother. Yeah, actually the comparison to Papers, Please is probably fairly strong in this game. You do a kind of menial job where you deal with people one-on-one -on -one and have to just deal with their crap and have to do like a, a mental tree of all the ways that you're supposed to solve each problem while dealing with more individual human problems like your brother needing cancer money or something. And also, a secret society is going to overthrow the evil thing that you're working for and you can, you can help them if you want to. It actually seems like a neat game. Anyway, that's about the time we have for today, though. So if you want to check this game out, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thank you to the developers for sending me a preview code so I could check out their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.
I have been very disturbed to read the allegations you brought against Quasar. I would like to see and hear more about these accusations concerning the company. 